Hey guys, welcome back. As promised, I'm about to pick a wiener. I mean winner. So here's my comments. Here's a website that I'm going to use to randomize the list of commentors. You ready? So I think what's going to happen is it's going to randomize this list and whichever one's on top, that's going to be the winner. Okay? M. Mod Tomic. Congratulations. You just got yourself a t-shirt. More butt stuff today. Right now I am cutting. What am I doing? Which is the other one at? Is it? Right now I am cutting and I'm making these guys. It's gonna be hard getting this diff out without pulling the axles. Doable, but hard. So, I think I might trim this guy off. I don't know. And then once those two are done, then I gotta tackle these guys right here. It's another compound cut. Another compound angle. Because of this guy's angle. Pretty complicated rear end. Hopefully it works really, really good. It's worth the extra trouble. I think it is. I got these things made, getting ready to put them in. Side to side, they don't sit the same. It looks like. Um, I think... Something isn't right, and I can't put my finger on exactly what it is. Um, all the measuring I do, I'm getting some weird measurements, like from this outer edge to this one, I'm like four or five millimeters uh, shifted over. But everything from here to the center line is good. So I don't know. I'm hoping it doesn't make much of a much of a difference with the adjustable arms, or even if let's say the arms are adjusted exactly the same left and right and one of the wheels is slightly in you know eighth of an inch or or uh, four or five millimeters I don't you know I don't think that'd be a huge deal it might you might you might notice it on your depending on how close your fitment is on your fender but I don't think you'll notice it how it drives I don't think there'll be a difference uh, I'm hoping it won't be a, a huge deal something I mean yeah something's just slightly off I, I can't really tell what it is but, you know, what am I going to start over? Not at this point. It's not bad enough to start over. And, uh, you know, I think I'll just live with it. I think I'll be okay. So right now I'm going to try, I don't weld these guys in. But first, I think what I want to do is I want to weld this guy here just to make it stronger. Because uh, it is where the diff attaches to. And... I think maybe part of the roll cage I might go down to this piece potentially so I want to make that nice and strong before I put these on top of it I'll grind it down um, if you'll notice I'm wearing my old school passive welding helmet um, the, this other one this auto darkener stopped working I don't know if it's the battery I don't know what it is. I don't really care. I hate this thing. I've always hated it. Um, and it's the only, that's the only auto darkener I've ever bought. So I've been borrowing other people's for a long time. Um, Circuit Motorsports had had one. They he Tristan bought a whole a welder and a bunch of stuff from from somebody used. So it came with a metal man hood. So I went ahead and purchased a new a new helmet yesterday. I ordered it. So I'm pretty excited about that. It's my first uh, real welding helmet, my first pro welding helmet. I'm excited. I can't wait. I don't know when it's going to come in, but hopefully soon.
I'll show you that. I'll show you that maybe next week. So excited. I'll probably be bringing it back and forth to work. I'll bring it in, I'll bring it there during the week and then bring it home on the weekend so I can come here and work. But this thing right here, this this for the birds, man. I'm trying to tack up this stuff, you kind of have to get close and go. And you're still off. You still end up moving a little bit. I hate it. It's really hard to tack with, with a passive helmet. You want to watch me well? You want to hang out? Sometimes I'll I'll stop welding and I'll wait for it to, to lighten up and I'm like I'm waiting and waiting and nothing happens. The done auto darkening. ended up having to I cut them uh, by hand I cut them by hand with the grinder because I just couldn't wrap my head around the math that was involved in that um, the plans the voodoo plans didn't match up with what I had so I had to I made one of theirs it didn't fit I tried to modify it didn't fit I Lined it up, drew some lines, measured wrong, had to throw a couple of them away. I'm gonna have like two hours working on these two tubes here. Cause it's a, it's a weird ass shape. So yeah, cause this, this one is flat and that one's leaning back. So you have a compound cut up here. But I got it. I got it to fit pretty good. I'm about to tack them in there. Why did I put this up there? I mean, it's stuff like this that really slows you down and you don't really think it's going to. I well, only got these two tubes to do. These two here and those two there. It's four tubes. Well, how long can I take? All day. Wait for my next, my new one to come in. I'm super excited about it. I'm super excited about it. Lucille.
Well, it's closing time. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. I want to thank you guys for watching me build this thing. It's uh, a dream come true of mine to be able to do this. Um, I'm super excited. Hopefully you learned something along the way. I, uh, I got those two, those two, and then I went ahead and redid one of these front supports and finished the other one, tacked it in. I made it out of round. I've seen other low cost chassis with round tubing there for the for the brace. I think it looks kind of cool. Plus, I got a bunch of a, a bunch more of the round tubing than I do the square. I'm running out of the three quarter inch square, so I figured I'd start using up some of that round tube. So I'm cleaning up now. And as far as the T-shirt giveaway goes, I'd like to go ahead and congratulate M Mod Tomic for winning. Thank you for participating. This is consider this your participation trophy. You earned it. Thank you. How do you broom? Is this how you broom? Okay, I think I'm all done. I can just drive the car now, right? All I gotta do is put a steering wheel in it and I can go drive. Oh. I got uh, a couple more days off this week because of the holiday, so I may be back. I don't know, it depends on what the wife has planned for me. If she'll let me sneak out to the shop or not, but that's it. And that's all. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye now.